Hello, in this video we will define an important concept called the interplanar spacing of a given set of lattice planes and we will derive this for the cubic system. So, uh, this interplanar spacing has a universal symbol dhkl we will use that it is an interplanar spacing between successive hkl planes. So, if you have parallel planes passing through the corners of the unit cell spacing successive planes passing through the corners passing through the corners of the unit cell. Another way of looking at it is the same distance will also be equal to distance between origin distance between the origin and the nearest nearest hkl plane So, once we see some example it, uh, it will become clear. So, let us uh, first look at dhkl you can you can derive formula for dhkl and in the books you will find for various crystal systems, but the geometry becomes very complicated um, for crystals which are not having axes which are orthogonal. So, we will derive this for the simple case where the axes are orthogonal. So, we are assuming the crystal to have orthogonal axes and that is a crystal system in which all the three interaxial angles are 90 degree. You know that such systems there are three out of seven the cubic, tetragonal and orthorhombic. For these systems it becomes simple the derivation becomes simple. So, we will do that. So, let us say that this is the origin and these are the three axes of my orthogonal system could be cubic, could be tetragonal and could be orthorhombic. So, to keep it general let us start with orthorhombic later on we will specialize for tetragonal and cubic. So, all of them have alpha beta gamma 90 degree orthorhombic the three lattice parameters are not equal a not equal b not equal c tetragonal sorry a equals b and not equal c and in cubic all are equal. So, this is the only difference. So, let us start with the general case of orthorhombic system. So, we have three orthogonal axes and let us say that the first hkl plane away from the origin is this. So, it intersects the x axis at a, y axis at b and the z axis at c. So, a b c is my h k l plane and again like in the last exercise for finding the plane normal we had done we drop a perpendicular o n onto the plane. So, o n is perpendicular to a b c. 
which has Miller indices H K L. Now, let me connect N and A and let me look at this triangle O and A. So, remember first that O n is the distance from the origin to the H K L plane and that is why by the definition which we gave O n is equal to the d H K L. Now, let us look at this triangle O n A. So, I am redrawing this triangle. O n and then A. Note that O n, n is the foot of the perpendicular from O to the plane. So, O n is perpendicular to the plane A B C. So, O n and N A is a line lying in the plane. So, O n and N A are perpendicular. So, I have a right triangle O n A. O A you now know can be written the magnitude of O A can be written as A by H that is the intercept the reciprocal intercept H K L is the plane. So, the first number is the reciprocal of the intercept. So, that is 1 by H, but this intercept is in terms of the corresponding lattice parameter. So, we have A by H. So, O A is A by H. O n by our definition is d h k l. Let me call this. So, o, o a was also the direction of my x axis. Let me call this angle theta 1. So, the first direction cosine cosine of O n is the cos of the angle O n makes with the x axis. So, this is cos theta 1 which is nothing but the base, base is d h k l by the hypotenuse which is a by h. So, d h k l by a by h which we can write as h by a d h k l. Similarly, the second you can form a similar triangle let us say with with B and think of the triangle O and B. Let me do that. Now, I have O, I have N and let us say here is the B. This direction is the y axis. This is theta 2. O n is still d h k l and n O b, O b which is the hypotenuse is the second intercept of the plane. So, this is b by k. The reciprocal is of k is 1 by k and multiplied by the corresponding lattice parameter which now since we are talking of orthorhombic is different from A, it is equal to B. So, O B becomes B by K. So, our, our second direction cosine O 
of O n cos theta 2 becomes d h k l this time b by k. So, I have k by b d h k l. Now, you have seen the pattern. So, I can write the third direction cosine simply by looking at the pattern. cos theta 3 Correspond the lattice parameter now is c the miller indices is l so i divide it by c by l so i get l by c dhkl so if we now the direction cosines have the property that sum of the squares of the direction cosines cos square theta 1 plus cos square theta 2 plus cos square theta 3 is equal to 1. This is the property of direction cosines. So, we use this property, we have already seen that cos theta 1 was h by a d h k l. So, I square it cos theta 2 was k by b d h k l. So, I get k by b square d h k l square and I get l by c square d h k l square. So, you can quickly see from here that now we have derived the formula I can take d h k l common and take it on the other side. So, 1 by d h k l square is nothing but h square by a square k square by b square l square by c square. So, this is for orthorhombic. We can quickly derive the formula the special cases for so for orthorhombic for orthorhombic we just derive that 1 by d h k l square is h square by a square by b square L square by C square. For tetragonal, all you have to now result for tetragonal you can get simply by substituting for B equal to A. So, you have H square by A square C square or you can write it h square plus k square by a square c square and for cubic all the three parameters will be equal. So, for cubic you get even simpler formula to equate all of them or this sometimes is simplified for writing directly in terms of d h k l. So, d h k l we rearrange and take the square root 
के स्क्वेर के स्क्वेर एंड दिस इज फॉर क्यूबिक सो वी विल यूज दीज डी एच के एल स्पेसिंग पर्टिकुलरली इन द टॉपिक विच वी आर नाउ गोइंग टू मूव दैट इज द टॉपिक ऑफ एक्स रेड ए फ्रैक्शन सो देर दिस द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डी एच के एल द इंटरप्लेनर स्पेसिंग बिटवीन प्लेन्स विल फॉर्म एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल्स 